Hey everyone, so I have literally just finished this set of nails and I'm doing the voiceover straight away so you're not going to have to wait four weeks like you normally do. So I filed off my last set which were really short and uh, yeah, um, so I'm going back long today. So I filed off previous set, um, applied my forms, uh, prepped prime, done all of that and then I've applied a thin clear base onto this nail and then I'm coming in with just a bead of clear acrylic and I picked up some of the mirror shards in rainbow and I'm just going to create um, an elongated triangle on this nail with those mirror shards. And once I'm happy with that triangle, I'm then going to cap that in clear acrylic. So I'm starting a little way in front of that cuticle area and then I'm just going to pull it forward. Because I'm going for a geometric design, I want to make sure I'm creating the kind of like the shape and structure that um, I will need in the finished nail. So I'm making sure I'm not just doing a thin cap layer. I'm making sure that I'm thinking of the shape and the structure of the nail while capping. I'm just using the point of my brush and the belly of my brush just to create a nice wall of that acrylic. Then I left that to set and then I'm going to come in with my file. I'm using a 150 grit file. Um, I would often use a 100 grit as well for this. And I'm just filing against that acrylic and I'm making sure I'm pushing against the acrylic, not down onto the nail or that form because you don't want to push that form out of the way. I just want to get that nice crisp line in that acrylic. Then once I'm filed and dusted all away, and then coming in with the white acrylic I'm using, which is natural from the Hazel Dixon collection. Just pushing that up into that side wall and then blending that down the nail. I'm going to create the rest of the nail using this white acrylic, which is a slightly off white, more natural, softer white. So perfect for ombres. Next now, I'm going to just create a thin clear base. Not worried about creating that base all the way down the length of the form because natural is a strength powder so it doesn't need a clear base all the way down i've just done it on the nail and the join where the form is and where the free edge will start and then i'm coming in with a bead of that white acrylic just in front of the cuticle area gently pushing back and then blending forward and i'm going to create the entire nail out of this white acrylic and then cap in crystal clear 
Now, around the cuticle area, I know I'm going to be doing loads of crystals, crystal tiaras, stuff like that, so I'm not worried about getting a perfect um, line, like a perfect line there, perfect coverage there. I'm just wanting to make sure I get it down the rest of the nail. I think this is something people often get a little obsessed with. They want it to be, you know, want it to always be perfect. But if you know your design, and if I know I'm going to put loads of crystals around the cuticle area on most of my nails, so it would be a waste of time to spend ages making it a perfect line around that cuticle area. I mean, you can if you need to practice and you need to perfect your cuticle area, and then you can always like leave it or add crystals to hide any imperfections, but I already know the design I'm wanting to do, so I, I don't feel the need to get that perfect line of color near the cuticle because it's just gonna be covered up and I just feel like when you're gonna spend, like I spend about four hours doing a set of nails on myself, I just feel like that's a couple of minutes that I'd rather not be spent doing. I'd rather spend that those few minutes putting on crystals or filing and finishing it off near the end. Final nail I'm going to show you, you can see I've jammed my cuticle there, that was removing crystals from my last set, I slipped with my old pair of cuticle nippers and stabbed my cuticle. So, ow, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm very clumsy on myself. So with this um, finger I'm going to do white down the entire nail and then I'm going to get some of those rainbow mirror shards at the cuticle area and just blend down. Again, I know right at the cuticle line I'm going to put one of my little crystal tiaras on so I'm not worried about getting a perfect line there. I just want to get a nice fade of that glitter just coming down the nail very, very delicately. I've applied that glitter and then I'm just wanting to pull it down the nail just spread all of that out so it's not too thick it's just a nice little sprinkling and then I when I'm happy with this I will cap in crystal clear And when we're all done, I'm all filed in everything, I'm then going to add all of my crystals. Sorry if it's not perfectly in focus or anything like that. It's fiddly enough putting all these crystals on and I don't always worry about whether I'm perfectly in shot or in focus. So my apologies. Um, so guess what I'm going to do my crystal tiaras. These you've seen me do loads of times. So I start off with a big crystal in the middle and then either side I put them in descending order. So I add smaller and smaller crystals either side. So the nail ends up with a little crystal tiara.
and when I'm happy with that crystal placement I'm then going to apply my top coat and I'm making sure I butt up against the crystals but not over them and get a decent covering all down the length of these really long nails. I'm going to do that on both of those fingers and then I'm going to put top coat on the other nails which will be used for which will be useful which are going to have pigment put over them. So I'm making sure that I only put top coat where I want to rub my chameleon pigment into. So on this nail, I only want the white to have pigment on. So I'm making sure I'm only putting top coat over that white and nothing on top of the glitter. And then when they've had their 60 second cure, I put a little bit of my chameleon pigment in the lid of the pot and I'm just going to rub that in to that still warm top coat. Throw my crystals everywhere because I'm not used to my <laughs> like two weeks without long nails and I've forgotten how to function. <sighs> I kept it in so you know that this it happens to everyone, the throwing of the crystals and glitter and everything all over the place. Then I'm going to dust off the excess, then I'm going to pause the video and tidy up all of my stuff. And we're back. So now I'm going to add some crystals. So you've seen me add crystals loads of times, guys. So just using a little bit of CJP gripper glue. Gradually adding to my design. So on the B now, I'm just going to be adding one of these flame shape in white opal. And then I'm going to add some teardrops and some of the round flat backs. And then we're going to do a cluster on the other nail.
and when I'm happy with that crystal placement, I'm going to come in and I'm going to use my detailer brush. This is my Crystal Nails Barber brush. That one had not sat into place, so just popping it back in. The top coat will secure that, I'm not worried about that. And I'm just using the brush to apply the top coat into the smaller, trickier areas. And then I will double top coat on top of the pigment. So the first coat I will do for 30 seconds. The second coat I will do for 60 seconds, but this central bit I only need to put one top coat in that middle bit there. But just using my detailer brush just to make sure again I go up against the crystals but not over them. So when that other nail is done, I'm then coming in to the cluster so I'm starting off applying a round like base of accents bling on and on this I'm going to put one of the disco ball um, flat back Swarovskis so this is a six millimeter one to give you an idea of size I'm gonna try and roughly match up with the other nail and then I'm going to flash cure that for 30 seconds just to set that first one in place. Then when it comes out, I give it a good, good old wobble, good old poke, just to make sure it's not going to come flying off. Just make sure it's nice and secure on there. And then I'm going to place another bit of that gel. And I'm going to place one of the cube cut crystals. So this is basically a cube crystal and they've cut a bit of a corner off so it's got a nice flat base for you to use. And this is the 4mm one. Now I'm doing this straight on top of, I haven't top coated or anything, the pigment. I have never had a problem doing it this way. If you prefer, you can top coat that pigment and then gently buff it and then apply your crystals. I've never had a problem this way. It's never affected adhesion, never affected the pigment, anything like that. It just saves you an extra layer of top coat and bulking it out really. I'm then going to do the usual thing with my clusters and I'm just gonna fill in the little gaps. So I'm using a little bit of, um, bling on again and then I'm going to use some of the round chat on back crystals from the glitter fairy so the first one I'm going to use is white opal and then I'll flash cure that for 30 seconds and then the one after that I'm going to use is the crystal white patina which no words can express how beautiful that is but in between each time I just make sure there's gel just tucked in to make sure that when they cure, it's all going to be cured and secured in place. So I'm now coming in with my flat backs, so just using my CJP gripper glue and my flat back crystals I'm using. I'm using a mix of the white opal, the crystal and the crystal AB in various sizes. Um, I prefer the way I did it on this nail because on the other hand I got really carried away with my crystals and I couldn't stop myself because I haven't had them in a while. Whereas this one I use a few less crystals so it's more just in a semicircle at the top of the nail and I have to say I do prefer this placement. So I'm just going to keep adding little bits of glue, little crystals, just until I'm happy with the coverage and design.
and then when I'm all happy with that I'm then going to come in with my top coat so I'm going to butt up against those crystals not over them and then the entire length of the nail and I'll do one coat cure for 30 seconds then I'll do a second coat and cure for 60 seconds And then with the thumb I've applied my Crystal Chameleon Pigment in Livia again and then I'm just coming in and I've used again those white opal flame flat backs and I'm just putting that in the middle and then creating my little tiara effect either side. And then when they're all finished, top coated and done, I'm then coming in with a bit of this peach cuticle oil and then we're finished. So I hope you've enjoyed the video guys. Um, yeah, that's it. So these are now my nails. So thanks for tuning in. Bye. Okay, so um, I've just finished my nails. Please excuse my squeaky chair. Um, I'm trying to voice over while filming so my windows are open because it's still really hot in England so if there's cars going past and stuff I apologize but I've just finished my nails and I wanted to do a little video on this Sun UV sterilizer I was sent um can I just say my new nails perfectly match it um it comes with um uh, a cable and everything but I'm just going to use my phone charger because it is the new I don't know what they're called I spoke over it, wait. Um, the new USB ones, so they're slightly bigger. I can't, I, is it a USB-C? I don't, I don't know. It's all technology. So. There is some no first of all, I love the fact that it speaks to you. Um, and this is a charger I use for numerous things on my desk. So um, if not, it does come with its own and, uh, isn't it? and cable and everything. Um, so I have finished my nails. I've given all my tools a quick wash with... Um, warm soapy water and dried them off and then I'm going to pop them all in here um, and with my files I, I tend to brush them off and I normally spritz them with my Sanipure or whatever and then I'm going to chuck them in as well and then all I do is I'm popping the lid down and that's really cute that it talks to you and it takes I think it's about seven minutes or whatever um, and it sterilizes all of your products and equipment for you um, the little bit of reading up I've done on it it can basically replace like barbicide and stuff I still want to do a little more reading up because I'm not 100% I don't understand all the science basically the light destroys the DNA of the bacteria and germs and stuff or anything that will be on your tools um, and if you're like me, I'm amazingly clumsy, as you've seen in this video, with me throwing crystals everywhere. So having pots of barbicide on my desk, you'd be surprised how many times I knock them over in a day, let alone a week. So something like this is really useful, and as you can see, the light kind of goes around. I'm going to pause the video in the minute, and just before it finishes, and it talks to you to let you know when it's done as well. So it's now just on one of its final lights. It actually doesn't take seven minutes. I think it's like three or four minutes. Um, I'll put the link for it in the description below, but uh, basically I really love it. Um, as you all know, I try and make sure that all of my reviews are really, really honest. So whenever people ask if they can send me things to try, um, I have like a standard email I reply back going, yeah, you can send me whatever you like, but be aware I will be 100% honest. Um, if I really don't like a product then I will go back to that person and say you know I, I it's not something I'd use I can't recommend it um, and return the products quite happily um, but this is one of those that I was sent and I love it. it I really do it's now an essential part of my kit I love having it on my desk it doesn't take up too much room it's nice and sleek 
ta-da, it talks to me. I love it. And every morning, because I turn off all the electrics in my salon, and every morning I turn it on, and it goes like, morning, sun UV. And I'm like, I love it. It's like every, every day someone says hello to me. Yes, so basically there it is, and then they are all, they're good to go. So now I can use them on my next client, and I'm not worrying about drying them off or anything like that um and it's all done so yeah so i would highly recommend this i really like it there's a link uh in the description below um and that's it really guys so thanks for tuning in and i'll uh, see you all soon bye